Hello y'all, this is the Great Lakes Confederation mod for Hearts Mind 4. It adds an alternate history nation with the same name as the mod that is composed of Native American tribes that united in the 18th century. Personally, it seems somewhat similar to the historical Western Confederacy that dissolved in the late 1700s. The Great Lakes Confederation in its recent history has been somewhat violent. During the Great War, it attacked Canada and the United States, but the leader of that time was removed in a bloodless coup and replaced with his peaceful brother. The Confederation is on the precipice of greatness, but first has to deal with internal conflict and unity problems. For national spirits, we start with Canadian industry influence, resurgence of hawkism, which is this country's brand of fascism, whispers from winter woods, and finally the fourth and last one is landlocked lakes all the way on the right. For the army, we have 11 divisions and they're all infantry and they're all referred to as Lake Warriors. Browsing through Army Commanders, we have tons of Generals and we have three Field Marshals. In our focus tree, we're going to make a path to the sea, give up South Illinois for North New England. Thank you, USA. And after that, ask Canada if we can have Moose River. The Chief of the Country speaks on the radio. Let's call for new unity and get base stability. Arcachetta, an explorer of the Confederation, goes to Ethiopia to observe the fighting there between Ethiopia and Italy. The US agreed to our trade and will have access access to the Atlantic Ocean from now on. In the focus tree, let's rally the Lake Chiefs, then affirm the gentle side, which is the peaceful opposite to hawkism, the fascist ideology of the Confederation. Some Canadian campers get lost in our country, so we're going to send out some people to look for them. The bodies of several Canadians are found on Chippewa grounds. A firefight apparently took place between them and the Canadians. The only body not accounted for is a missing teenager. Akacheta returns from Ethiopia and becomes a naval commander of the Great Lakes Confederation. Civil War in the British Empire, it's the United Kingdom versus the British Union of Fascists. There is another war to observe this time, it's the Spanish Civil War, and we're going to send some people over there to watch. The Laker Fair, we can give out a prize to one of three choices. Let's go with the middle one, the greatest performance for the stability. Our observers arrive in Spain, they will go to the front lines to meet with Republican soldiers and generals, then try to send notes back to the Confederation. The British Civil War is over, and it ends with a victory for the fascist and Oswald Mosley coming to power. Hawkists attack Canadians at the border, we'll condemn them, and the US just drops off the Apache people in cities along the border. We'll accept them into the Confederation and get some manpower. Trial of a prisoner, Nick Skarmich, the former chief of the Confederation, is charged with warmongering and sabotage of foreign relations. He was the one who invaded Canada and the USA while their forces were occupied in Europe during the Great War. He'll be charged and sent to a prison, ending any hope of the hawkist rising to power. Hawkism will be disavowed, and after that, we'll end our isolation, changing our economy and trade laws. This is the beginning of the foreign policy part of the focus tree. Thanks to our observation in the Spanish Civil War, we have access to decisions that can give us army experience and naval experience for the price of small amounts of political power. In our focus tree, we'll do international war parades, expand our confederation, call the war chiefs, and the last out of these four, assume the Northern Throne, which upon completion will give us a war goal to annex Canada. Detroit, a hub for the automobile industry, which is also our capital, is quite the success giving us a building slot. Hawkists attack Americans at the border, taking some hostages. Like with the Canadians, they'll get condemned again. Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon, and Austria gets Angelist into the German Reich. The Sturgeon, a Confederation trade ship, is sunk after being fired upon by a Canadian. The story will take this as a sign of war, which we had prepared for anyway, and begin a fight with Canada. Canada. Canada really isn't too strong as they would be typically because we have both northern and southern Ontario, plus the Allies aren't at their full strength as a faction because of that whole British Civil War that went on earlier, leaving the faction with just the membership of Canada, New Zealand, and South Africa. We're launching an all-out offensive with our 52 divisions. The enemy definitely has less than us. Even at their highest estimated strength, they're outnumbered by more than 30 divisions. In Europe, France declared war on the fascist British Empire. We're winning the war. We just need to make our way to Vancouver in the western part of Canada. We won and we're at the peace conference and after this is over we won't just be a country in the Great Lakes region anymore since we're going to expand greatly. Thanks to our victory we have access to a new decision to form the Great North Confederation because we control the required states and we'll hit the button which changes our name, country color, and the flag also changes as a result. France joined the Allies which may not have been a good idea because France is fighting a lot of people including the British, Germany, 
and the Italians. Our southern neighbor, the United States, declared war on the British Empire. There's a good chance they will join the Allies in the wider conflict, so they'll be occupied with all that, which presents to us a good opportunity to attack them. Since we transformed into the Great North Confederation, we can relocate our capital, and we also unlock decisions to incorporate tribes to get state cores. In Europe, France got squashed and divided between the British and the Italians. Speaking of the British, they're invading Ireland. Honavi, the daughter of the previous chief, makes a famous flight going across the Confederation will congratulate her, but at the same time not encourage the Hawks. The K-10 Axo people are sent to our borders. We'll accept them and get 7,500 manpower because of our choice. We have a focus called the Cold Peace, which gives us a decision to peace out with the Allies. Had the United Kingdom not gone the route they did, this would have come in handy. In Asia, the Japanese fight the Soviet Union as well as the Chinese who joined the common turn faction. In our focus tree, we gotta choose between one of these three focuses. Let's go with this land is our land on the right, giving us a national spirit that will grant us higher stability. We're going to reach out to the tribes in Greenland with the focus take Greenland. Upon completion, we'll have a war goal on Denmark. An interesting development has occurred. Japan joined the Polish faction and the German Reich declared war on Poland. Our plan to get Greenland is this. We're going to go to the USA, justify a war goal on them then attack them, then attack Denmark, and they should join the Allies faction, so we should get Greenland and the peace deal that will come later. The British Empire wants to resupply their ships in our port, so do the Italians, sure, we'll accept both. We got faction invites from the Anglo-Italian Pact, and the Axis will join the first one. Denmark joins South Africa in the Allies, so miraculously everything is going correctly in this plan. Our divisions sweep into New England, we'll do a hop, skip, and a jump through Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and the American capital, Washington. We're advancing through the Midwest to go toward eventually California. Things aren't going quite as smoothly in the northwestern part of the United States thanks to the presence of quite a few American divisions. Due to their choice in joining the Allies, Denmark is getting invaded by the Germans. We're in the military part of the focus tree doing forest warriors. After that, we'll do the focus strike smart, which in its description mentions Tecumseh's military success in the War of 1812. Observing the German right that took out Czechoslovakia and Denmark, they're fighting the Netherlands and Poland and Belgium may soon be next on their hit list. India joins the war on our side. The Soviet Union declared war on Poland and Italy announces their claims on Yugoslavian territory and there is an Indian civil war. The Atlantic seaboard is mostly ours and now we're just going to make our way to the western part of the United States. The USA is capitulated. We still got to fight the wider war but it's all downhill from here. Once South Africa has been beaten we will know that we have won. That's easier said than done because there is 19 divisions defending Cape Town and moving over to New Zealand who has a clue of what they're doing? Italy lays claim to Greek territory, which could be sign of another war coming, but let's hope not. Australia has gone hit with a civil war. Australia joined allies, so we're going to send some troops over to help the other side. The lost Canadian boy from years ago became a man of the tribes, and he is available to us now as a general. Historically, Jacques Dextrais was the chief of the defense staff of Canada in the 1970s. We've sent soldiers to South Africa to constantly attack Cape Town, until it falls. The peace conference has arrived. The Germans are taking a lot, so are the British. We'll have to see what we can get out of this whole ordeal. That's finished. Let's see what's going on in Europe. The Germans have Denmark, Poland, and part of France, and so do the Italians. The British Empire chose basically to dominate all of Africa. As for our share, we got New England, and the United States became a puppet of the British Empire. I think it's important to note we also control Greenland now. Charles Curtis, 31st Vice President and first Native American Vice President, wants to visit the Confederation. Let's allow him free passage. Peace for the German Reich is short-lived because they declared war on the Soviet Union. We're going to return to isolation, and we gotta tell the British Empire something to. So we're going to close this and go over to their screen and leave the Anglo-Italian Pact faction. The video is going to stop here. If you enjoyed the mod, make sure to check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.